Yeo Yoong is putting the finishing touches on his new clinic. He remembers the night Dong Eun opened herself to him. He was informed about Dong Eun's interest in Do Young. By the time she has finished exacting her retribution, she wants Yun Jin to be by herself. He gave Dong Eun the key to his flat and invited her to drop by whenever she wished to play a game of Go there. Even if she ignores his calls and texts, he will still be aware that she visited and that everything is well. Young is searching through old pictures in another location to discover more about Yunjin's friendships with her high school classmates. If she speaks to Jaejun or Myung Oh frequently, he asks. She answers that she and Myung Oh are not close and asks if he was being threatened by him. Young questions her response and informs her that her friends all reacted in the same way when he brought up Myung Oh. Yunjin discovers that he visited Jaejun's golf club as he looks through his most recent stops. Hyun Nam keeps up her investigation and goes to the shaman that Yun Jin and her mother typically visit. She doesn't learn anything significant from the encounter. Later on, she aids Dong Eun in determining the true intent of the individuals who were pursuing her and attempting to extort money. After they take Dong Eun's money, she pursues them and finds out they work for the police chief who is friendly with Yun Jin's family. Dong Eun begins to speculate that they may be connected to Myung Oh's disappearance. If Myung Oh is indeed dead, she advises Hyun Nam, it would be preferable for them to find his body first. She is aware of the agreement she made with Myung Oh. Yun Jin was expected to admit that she murdered So Hee in order to obtain his confession. Sadly, he disappeared before he could get her to confess. She believes Yunjin murdered Myung Oh in response to his threat to expose her as Sohee's killer. Yoo Young's mother is left in charge of running the household once he leaves the hospital. When she gets a letter from the person who killed her husband, she is stunned. He has been writing sarcastic letters to Yoo Young while he is incarcerated, explaining how much he relished killing his father. Yoo Young still harbors a great deal of resentment and suffering over this tragic loss, and on occasion he imagines killing the murderer by stabbing him. He has been going to treatment because of that in part. However, he stops going to his therapy appointments after relocating to Semyong. To get the money she sought, Dong Eun arranges a meeting with Sarah at her father's church. She is told by Sarah that because she has already repented, God is on her side. Dong Eun makes fun of her by saying that she will make her life a living hell and hopes she goes to heaven. Sarah tries to inquire as to what she means and what she has planned, but Dong Eun simply walks away without responding. Dong Eun accompanies Hyun Nam's daughter to a test of evaluation and informs her that she will be accompanying her to study in the US as she will no longer be able to instruct her. She plans to use the money Sarah gave her. Do Young discovers from Ha Yi Soul that Yun Jin and her teacher attended the same high school in the interim. He grows more interested in learning more about Ha Yi Soul's instructor and makes a commitment to her to attend the upcoming daddy's event in her class. Jae Jun is also interested in finding out more about Do Young's character and tries to speak with Hai Jong while she is getting her wedding dress fitted. He is a lovely son of a bitch, according to Hai Jong, and you have to look closely to know him. Hai Jong is concerned as well since Myung Oh's damning photographs have made her uneasy. She decides to inspect his flat and meets Sarah, who was thinking the same thing. Sarah discovers her drug use, but Hai Jong receives no responses. Sarah shows him the plane ticket and tells her that Myung Oh planned to leave, but he seems to be missing. They report this information to Yen Jin, who asks them to report the matter to the police if they are worried about him. They discuss their last conversations with Myung Oh and Yun Jin leaves, she tries to play it calm but she is clearly shaken. Yun Jin is also worried about what Do Young and Jae Jun talked about. She tries to get in touch with him, but he does not return her calls or messages. She makes the decision to go to his house, but he is also not there. He finally answers her call after repeated attempts and schedules a later meeting with her. When Jae Jun visits the Hai Soul School, he makes a protection pledge. He calls his attorney and requests a meeting to go over how he might regain his parental rights for Hai Soul. 
He is informed by the attorney that unless the couple in question gets divorced, he has no hope of being acknowledged as the father. Later, when he runs across Yun Jin, he confronts her about Hai Yi's soul and chokes her out of rage. Yun Jin startles him, but kissing him to divert his attention and calm him down. Hai Jong seeks to win her future mother-in-law as Jae Jun schemes to get his daughter back. Given that the woman knows Dong Eun, this proves to be a little challenging. She couldn't stand Hai Jong and hoped Dong Eun would become her daughter-in-law. Hai Jong requests a conversation with Dong Eun after realizing she is in serious peril. Do Young and Jae Jun both attend Daddy's event at Hai Yi Soul's class at the episode's conclusion? Jae Jun presents himself as having come to see Dong Eun, whom he refers to as a former classmate. Do Young is astonished to learn that the teacher in question is Dong Eun. The fact that Jae Jun keeps making sarcastic remarks to him doesn't help either. Dong Eun is invited to speak by Hai Jong. She makes an effort to beg and make concessions in exchange for Dong Eun not interfering with her impending marriage. She gets her phone back, and Dong Eun informs her that the phone taught her a lot about her. Hai Jong realizes that Dong Eun was the one who sent her the pictures. She is advised by Dong Eun to consider her options carefully in order to preserve herself. Additionally, she directs her to file a missing persons report for Myung Oh. Do Young confronts Jae Joon after spotting him keeping an eye on Ha Yi Sol. Jae Joon is asked by Do Young what he's planning to do. He explains to him that since he knows why Myung Oh sent the letter, he no longer wants to find him. Perhaps Do Young just learned he isn't Ha Yi Sol's biological father. Dong Eun meets Jae Joon on the school premises and is reminded of how he and Myung Oh sexually harassed her back in the day. He asks her if she is planning to get revenge. He says he can't stop her plans and tries to provoke her, and she slaps him. He warns her to stay away from Hai Yi Sol and she warns him not to help Yun Jin. She advises him to view her as an ally if he wants to keep Hai Yi Sol safe. She confesses to having sent him Hai Yi Sol's toothbrush. She hands him a coloring page of Hai Yi Sol to show that she inherited his color blindness before leaving. At home, Hai Yi Sol tells her mom about the dad event at school and Yun Jin is scared. She gets rattled when he learns Jae Joon showed up too. Do Young meets with Hai Jong in secret and inquires about Yun Jin and Dong Eun's relationship during this time. He is informed by Hai Jong that Dong Eun was violently bullied by Yun Jin in high school. She informs him that Dong Eun dropped out of school because it was so horrible. She requests that he speak to his wife about Dong Eun and the other victims of her bullying. She asks Do Young to tell Dong Eun that she was the one who told him about what happened to her. Do Young starts to understand what Dong Eun meant when she said she is betting her life on something. Yeo Young and Do Young later cross paths at the brand new Go Match facility he created. Yeo Young tries to determine Do Young's character while they play a game together. Yeo Young informs him that he recently moved to the area in an effort to exact revenge on someone. He hands him his business card and adds that he is a surgeon. Later, he tells Dong Eun about his encounter with Do Young. He claims that meeting Do Young was similar to turning to page 17 of the January issue of GQ. Do Young exuded an air of sophistication and coolness. Additionally, he assures her that Do Young won't call until he has the matter under control. After mentally practicing the inquiries he wishes to make. When Do Young gets home, Yun Jin is already there to greet him. She is questioned by him about her friendship with Dong Eun. Yun Jin claims that since she and Dong Eun have discussed their misunderstandings and that they come from different worlds, everything is good. She asks him what Dong Eun said to him, but he tells her that she didn't talk to him. He asks her how she settled her difference with Dong Eun. She asks him not to listen to other people, but to trust her. She points out that they have been together for 12 years and he should know that she will fix the issue. She warns him not to open Pandora's box and that she will make sure their daughter is safe and the box remains closed. The following day, she meets with Jae Joon, who queries her over her feelings for Do Young. 
She acknowledges her affection for Do Young and states that she isn't ready for a divorce. She is reminded by Jae Joon that he has always supported her. He warns her that once Do Young discovers the truth about who she really is, he could not accept her. Later, she receives a call from Shin Young Joon, the police head, requesting her to meet the next day. She is informed by Young Joon that Dong Eun is a model citizen as a result of his personal inquiry into her. In an effort to use Dong Eun's mother against her, Yun Jin inquiries about her. The police chief appears to have men keeping an eye on Dong Eun's mother. Not just Yun Jin is interested in Dong Eun's mother. Yeo Young is also interested, but Dong Eun withholds further explanation. She, however, is interested in finding out why Yeo Young's passcode was created. The action then cuts to his mother visiting the murderer in jail and sternly advising him not to write her son any more hurtful letters. The gang is miffed when Hai Jong finally reports Myano missing. Sarah becomes upset that Hai Jong may have alerted the police to her drug use once they begin their inquiry. If the police start looking into her, she vows to kill Hai Jong. Dong Eun instructs Hyun Nam to acquire her daughter a passport elsewhere so that she can be away from home studying when she puts her father to death. She warns Hyun Nam that if they carry out their plot to kill her husband, she will lose her child and asks her if she wants to stop. Later, Do Young calls Dong Eun and requests a meeting. When they initially meet, he informs her that since she is the victim, he wants to hear her version of the story first. He is informed by Dong Eun that she deliberately approached him. He asks where she lives and she tells him. However, Yen Jin learns that Dong Eun is residing in an apartment at a short distance from her home. She pays a man a large quantity of money to break into the house, and she is surprised to see pictures of her friends and members of the bully group on the wall. She begins to feel guilty for not only intimidating Dong Eun but also murdering her. Do Young joins Yun Jin as she examines the pictures at Dong Eun's apartment and muses on how she aired. While Dong Eun visits Yeo Young's house and plays the first move on his Go board as he had instructed her to do, Yeo Young visits the mortuary to examine a body.